Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Officer Future. I'm here at Causeway Pier and I'm testing out a new leader system because I've got a theory and my theory is that we are fishing the bottom, obviously, but I'm not getting a lot of sight on the fish that are in the area. Obviously, the ones that come against the floor bottom, we're good to go. But that's the problem too. So today I've got the fish gum with me and this is the ghost crab flavor that we're going to test out. And okay, so rolling back to my theory is that I remember a video years back where halibut uh, were videoed on an underwater camera. Now, the deal about that was the halibut weren't sitting on the floor like flounders do, you know what I mean? So, they were sitting about mid-water column, 50 to 80 feet down, and that's where they were. That's how they, you were hooking them was mid-water column. And I'm not a halibut fisherman, but um, it just, it, it, it came to me what if these bigger drum and everything else are doing that and maybe when we're casting out in this deeper water that it is you know as the bait is flying by them or falling down they catch the scent and then they're led to it so when they're not biting what are they doing are they sitting at that mid water column and they just don't know that the bait's not there because there's no rough current you know moving the scent about so what i've done is i actually i attached another float to my system and I'm gonna angle everything up. I don't know how well I, or how much float I needed to do this, but this is what it's gonna look like. So we'll, let's check this out. And yes, I am daytime fishing, and I went ahead and played it safe and turned on the underwater camera light, so that way we can see what's going on. And yeah, I don't know just yet. Let me see what's going on with this thing. <sighs> well, that is a failure you can see the bottom right there and the float wasn't enough to do that I mean and even then too see how the camera angles off just a little bit that means that I didn't even attach enough float to my underwater camera to make it work so I'm definitely gonna have to add more float to the underwater camera and to the main line because my whole idea is to get it to where it'll pitch up and look you know, it may be 20 degrees up or 15 degrees up off the bottom and get the bait instead of sit, sitting right on the bottom. It's, you know, eight or 10 inches off the bottom. And it doesn't seem like much, but I really don't want it to be floating, you know, a foot or two cause until I know this theory is correct. And so we'll see how it looks, but definitely get a lot clearer picture right now. And yeah, you can see that it may have shown, but it's still too dark around so oh what's that is that a catfish look like catfish yeah well i mean they're still active but it ain't crazy with perch so that's actually a good thing so again like i said if there's not that much perch around then what is going on down there i mean i know the fish haven't totally disappeared out of that area but maybe the big fish are the ones spooking them out of the area they're just not on the bottom
All right, so as you can see, the perch numbers have really, really decreased. Normally by now we would have had like 50 to 100 perch all over this bait. However, they aren't there. One here, one there, and actually I've already had this bait in the water for about 30 minutes already. And yeah, I was gonna do a 15 minute interval, but the guys next to me hadn't been losing their baits as quickly too. So I was paying attention to that as well as um, everything else going around me going on around me kind of deal you know that's the little things you got to watch out for yes during the summer you saw that the baits were getting tore up extremely extremely fast so we had to keep checking on them well now that it's winter time it has really changed the ball game of how long these baits have lasted but at the same time too i'm glad that this is happening too because it's giving me an opportunity to show how the fish gum is actually working in this area with the current going on and i mean yeah it's not a crazy current but still a current that still allows it to put out its scent but not but not let it completely fall away from the hook and that's one of the improvements that i wanted to kind of point out because um a lot of people have been bringing up about how in the past they've dealt with the fish gum and this is something that they have seen so this is a great improvement like i said it's on there the fish is pre periodically hitting on it and the bait is still in great condition right there so that's a very positive note for us but there's something that's coming up here in a little bit and i'm gonna slow it down but there's something in the water that i really don't know what it is All right, right there. What is that stringy thing that is sitting there? I mean, it comes in, kind of messes with the bait a little bit. And yeah, I don't know what that was. And you know, it was going against the current and it shows up a few more times.
One of the other things that I did notice was that the idea of floating the whole rig up off the bottom, including the hood, was really going to make things seem a bit more um, than what they are. And what I mean by that is when a bait fish comes up and, and tags his bait because it's free floating, there's going to be a lot more movement in the camera versus the way it is now where it's sitting on the bottom. And even on the bottom right now, it's off angle. As you can see how the bait is off to the middle or to the right instead of off in the middle where it should be. So that's going to be one of the things that I'm going to lose a little bit on. But at the same time too, if I can balance it just right, it'll just sway back and forth with the current. And that's going to be my next intent right there is to find out what's really going on. Like I said, right now we're just shooting a couple of, you know, degrees off the bottom which ain't giving us a whole lot of views so i want to get this to angle up so i'm going to add a little bit more float and i can't add too much because i don't want it sitting straight up and down but it might come to that maybe i'll set one that's kind of he heavy like that with the float and one that's about half that and see if i can catch two different angles maybe we'll actually see what's going on from the bottom the only bad thing about fishing it like that is Yes, if we see the fish, we'll only see the shape of it. We won't really be able to determine the, the type of fish it is with an exact certainty as if it was swimming by at an angle. You know what I mean? We can get something different out of it. So that's going to be, or what is to be expected out of all of this. And I'm really excited on being able to change it up like that. So we are actually adding a fourth camera to the team gear, which will allow us to pitch out four rods at the same time and i'm going to be definitely trying the different angles of the floats just to see like i said I, I believe they're there they're just not on the bottom and i think we're missing out on a lot of opportunity to catch those those views of what we're new needing and or maybe possibly we could actually change up the whole game by actually putting the bait into the fish's area of where they're actually feeding and stuff like that so I'm really excited on where this is going to go again and we'll definitely keep changing it up keeping y'all posted on to how we're changing up the uh the leader situation and the float situation and we're getting real excited because the more cold fronts that are coming through the more action we're going to get with these black drum and big red fish and as you can tell right there what i did was i did a crop shot and i zoomed in on the lit up area to allow us to see a little more clear of what was happening so as the feedings will change in the type of bait they're eating and also to where we're going to be fishing it's going to really change up our game and i'm going to be in tune with trying out these different type of baits and ensuring that you know they are going to last and they're producing the way they say they're going to produce and there you go look at that fish gum it's been in there 45 minutes and still is still rocking and rolling so we're going to keep putting it out there and see how